welcome to another Clay at Home um, with me, Shannon, <laughs> Jones, oh, and Wizard! Wizard's joining us today. Yay! <laughs> uh, so I'm going to jump right into it because I do have quite um, the, the activity planned for us today. Um, <laughs> um, also, as, as per usual, if you're here, um, just say hi to me in the chat so I can see you. And Wizard wants to say hi to you too. Alright, so we'll get go ahead and just get started with, um, as we usually do, with me just showing something from my collection. Uh, today I have, this is like, um, <laughs> a pretty sentimental object for me. This is, um, a teapot, um, and I'll, I'll bring it in clo for a closer look, too. Uh, this is a teapot created by, um, my by Doug Heron, who was one, my, uh, my wheel throwing teacher, and I'm so distracted by this cat right now, my wheel throwing teacher, uh, when I was in college, and he, he gave this to me as a, as a thank you for, <laughs> for, for firing the gas kiln for him, basically the whole semester, um, yeah, it's, so, you know, this is pretty important object for me, um, it reminds me of my time in school. I also just really like this handle. I think this is just a wicked handle. And Wizard is just going to be, I guess, in the way this whole time. I guess that's what we're doing. Um, <laughs> uh, also, he had made this matching cup that he gave to me, which is also just fantastic. Uh, that throw line in there is beautiful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a catastic episode, I guess. Um, I don't know if I'm just screaming into the void right now, because I do not see anyone on the stream currently. So I guess we're just gonna hang out for a little bit, just have like a a cat cam while I I check to make sure everything's okay um, with this stream, because I don't see anyone um, in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, very strange. I don't see any viewers, but I do see that we got one like, so that's in that's fantastic. I'm just double checking, um, <laughs> to see if we are in fact live. So yeah, I mean hopefully someone shows up to this stream today because um Hopefully no one thought it was at two. That would have been really bad. Um, because I did I did put a lot <laughs> a lot of effort into um, today's I guess topic. Let's call it topic. Um, or I guess I guess our activity that we're gonna do. All right. So I do I do. See I see some people now. I also just got confirmation that just someone just plum forgot. <laughs> um, yeah, so as soon as we have some people in the chat, we're just going to get started because I ha it's quite an extensive little thing I have set up today. Also, if you're here and you want to participate, um, I, suggest <laughs> I suggest pulling up um, either a Google search bar or... <laughs> Um, or Digital Fire's website, <laughs> so you might need it. Um, oh, Janet's here. Hi, Janet. Did do you see my cat behind me? He's Punk is saying hi to you, as well. Isn't that right, Punk? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. So I'm gonna wait to see if anyone else is around to play. Oh, Aunt Emma's here too. So now we have officially have two people. Um <laughs> so we could we could get started. <laughs> um Uh yeah, I was afraid for a second that I was not actually live um because <laughs> because just no one was here and it's never been like that before. That was kind of scary. Oh, hi Chuck. Welcome. Uh okay, so I'm just let's get started. Let's Let's do it. 
Oh, hi, hi Karen from, I'm going to guess, Megan's <laughs> YouTube account. So, I have for us today, Janet, I don't know where everyone is, but I have for us today a beautiful, a handcrafted ceramics Jeopardy board. <laughs> I'm going to, Punk is going to be our, our officiator if he doesn't jump off the couch. Um, I don't think he likes it. Um, so, uh, <laughs> so this will be fun to figure out with the cats, um, not destroying it as we work, as, as we do this. So, I have put together, like, kind of like our trivia, but these are all ceramics, uh, questions. Some of them are fairly hard. Um, some of them are kind of like, uh, you have to have mixed glazers or something to, to know how to do it. Um, so I'm sorry if that gives anyone a disadvantage or an advantage, but ouch! <laughs> Punk thinks this is like the worst game in the world. Um, I'm gonna try to lure him away from me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Dan's laughing at my Jeopardy board, thank you. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, if whoever wants, whoever picks a, a, a category and a point total first, they get, I mean, they get, whoever says something in the comments will start there. So, it's up to you guys. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to give you guys a second to actually hear that. Fired up for 400? Alright, Emma is <laughs> starting us off with fired up for 400. And yeah, these are just, these are, are just note cards that I've stuck onto a piece of cardboard. So don't judge me. It took me a long time to make this. Okay. So, I'm going to bring my microphone closer just so that I'm very clear. Oh yeah, that's right, that is anybody. Thank you for that, Emma. Alright, so, fired up for 400. <laughs> um, our first question, so, and the way this is going, since we don't have a buzzer or any way to do that, just whoever types in the chat first, uh, the answer correctly in the chat first, um, wins wins those points and also gets to choose the next the next category. So this is our first go. Alright. The sudden change oh and you have to answer in Jeopardy terms, so it has to be a qu your answer has to be a question. The sudden change in quartz particles as they pass up and down through uh, one thousand sixty three degrees Fahrenheit. Fire cracks are often created here. So, I'll read the question again and maybe what is course inversion? Alright, Emma! <laughs> Emma might be the only one playing. <laughs> Emma, you get to choose the next question. <laughs> oh, Chuck just... So... Just barely not there. Alright, Emma? <laughs> I'm sorry, Janet, this might be a little harder for you than everyone else. <laughs> I don't Alright, so Emma, you choose our next one. Fired up for 200? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, Ali I'm Alex Clayback now. <laughs> Alright, fired up for 200. Alright. <laughs> this method of firing limits the amount of oxygen in the kiln. To achieve this... <laughs> to to achieve this, the kiln burns wood, gas, or other caustic fuel. So this... What is reduction? Current Karen with 20, 200 points on the board. Karen, choose our next... <laughs> you may choose our next question. I also can't read my own handwriting, as I've just found out. Oh, and also... Fired up. Oh, we're just clearing this category. Alright, this is going to be a rough one. <laughs> I had a hard time figuring out something harder. Um, so here we go. <laughs> um, this kiln furniture is used to protect the pottery enclosed from smoke, vaporous, oxidized, or kiln debris. In the case of a more experimental work, this kiln furniture may also be used to protect the kiln. I'll give you all a minute to stew on that. It's kiln furniture used to protect the pottery and clothes. What is a sagger? Oh, Chuck! Yes! Chuck with 600 on the board. Chuck taking the lead now. Emma with 400. 
Uh, <laughs> Karen with 200. Chuck, choose our next question. Janet, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I made you super hard. Oh, Janet, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Chuck. <laughs> So our categories we have left are anybody, isn't it ionic, and potpourri. Isn't it ionic for 200? Ooh, Chuck going in, he, he must know that these ones are mostly gla glaze chemistry. Chuck's forte. Alright. This group of alkali or alkaline earth metals, oxides, lower the melting temperature of the glaze. So this group of alkali or alkaline earth metal oxides, lower the melting temperature of a glaze. Who will be first? <laughs> what is feldspar? It's no! Emma! Incorrect! I am sorry. That, that's, not what, that's not what the judges are looking for. <laughs> what is a flux? Chuck got it! Chuck! <laughs> With another 200 points up to 800, Chuck choose our next category. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing, Emma. That's the laugh of a crazy person. <laughs> Actually, I don't think there's any... Oh, I I do mention Feldsworth. Any body for 200... Oh, no! Emma Chuck. Alright. Any body for 200. It's name deriving from the Latin root meaning literally baked earth. This clay body is arguably the most popular choice for flower pots. Who will be first? Janet, how do I get my cats to stop being crazy? Oop, Emma got it with what is terracotta? We will allow ter terracotta. Uh, <laughs> that won't be allowed. Alright, so the point standings now are... <laughs> The point standings now are Karen with 200, Emma with 600, and Chuck with 800. <laughs> I'm glad you think this is funny. I actually had a lot of fun making this, and I might make a more professional version with PowerPoint. All right, Emma, you get to choose our next category. Potpourri for 200. This one's a stretch for me. Hold on. <laughs> All right, this is, this is a gimme. <laughs> This kiln part is responsible for reading the temperature of a firing kiln. <laughs> so this kiln part is responsible for reading the temperature of a firing kiln. Oh, Chuck, you're welcome. <laughs> you know. Emma, boom, what is a thermocouple? Emma now tied with Chuck for 800 points. Emma does get to choose our next option. And if we all want to see what Punk is up to right now, He's being a jerk. Anybody for 400. All right. Made from crushed brick, refractory rock, or other pre-fired ceramic, this clay body addition improves drying and structural properties. I'll say that again. Made <laughs> Made from crushed brick, refractory rock, or other pre-fired ceramic, this clay body addition improves drying and structural properties. Chuck got it with what, what is fastest. Even though he's making fun of my cats, also fastest with what is grog. <laughs> Chuck now surging ahead. He is now at 1,200 points. Chuck, choose the next category. Man, I should have figured out a better system than this tape, huh? Oh, thumb typer, yep. <laughs> All right, Chuck, it's your it's your choice. Isn't it isn't it ionic? <laughs> for four hundred. All right, this one's a special question. I have to put the board down for this because this one has a visual component. 
Alright, so I'm going to hold up this visual component here. This common flux is used in most ceramic processes and is most often supplied via a frit. So I will, I will take, there are multiple correct answers for the name of this, um, name of this ion oxide. What is coffee? <laughs> Janet, nice guess. What is, what is boron? I'm looking for, I'm looking, that's one of the elements here in here. I'm, Chuck, I'm looking for the full, that's true. I'm looking for what this, um, the full name of this. So boron is a component. This is boron what, guys? <laughs> the answer, the, an the answer is yet to be, um, said all the way. So the judges are not going to accept just boron. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> boron what? <laughs> the the answer is in the rest of that molecule. <laughs> boron oxide. Yep. Emma got it. Oh, and Emma stole it from Chuck in the last second. Yeah. So we would have ta taken bo boron oxide, boric oxide, boron andrydehyde, or diboron trioxide. So that is going to go, those points are going to go to Emma, who is again tied with Chuck. And we have only a bunch of 600 questions. Yeah, yeah, it is bor boric because of the, ch it's an ion, so it's charged. So there are a bunch of answers to that because I guess chemists can make up their mind of what they call it. So Emma, your your choice, potpourri for 400 this is another stretch. <laughs> it's what, for the record, I want everyone to know my roommate is staring at me and laughing. <laughs> All right. I'm really <laughs> There's Reagan. Reagan says hi. <laughs> All right, <laughs> a relatively new glaze technology, these enable the use of metal oxides to produce strongly pigmented glaze at temperatures they would normally fail at. <laughs> so, a relatively new glaze technology, these enable the use of metal oxides to produce strongly, pig strongly pigmented glazes at temperatures they normally would fail at. I think Karen might have the um the upper hand on this one because I think we talked about them the other day. Boom, what is encapsulated? Yes, encapsulated stains. Karen, you're on the board with 600 now. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck didn't like that one. Yep. Um yeah, so Emma, not just Mason. I don't think they're Ma I think Mason stains and encapsulated stains are different. So um, I'm gonna give it to Karen. That's what was on the card. The judges say. We'll just do a little, a little, a little cat check there. All right, <laughs> Karen, it's your choice. Which of these uh, 600 questions do you want? Karen could still sweep it if she's fast enough on the on the buzzer. Janet, I hope you're learning a lot today. <laughs> Thank you, Chuck. <laughs> Do you know what a crazy person I was, like, all day today, building this? <laughs> Anybody for 600? All right. At high enough temperatures, this clay body's kaolin crystals convert into long mule-like crystals, co contributing to this body's incredible strength. <laughs> oh snap! Oh Karen, <laughs> I I appreciate your commitment um, <laughs> to getting in here. Well, Janet, you can't say that anymore. Oop! Yep, Karen got it with what is porcelain. Karen, it's your it's your board to choose from. You got two options. <laughs> Emma, I love your competitive sp speed.
spirit. So we are now all, I believe, yeah, we are all tied now with 1,200. So these last two are going to clinch it, potentially. Um, or we could have two people win. So, Karen, it's up to you. You can have a pot for 600. And let me grab Let me just grab it. All right. This one... This one's a long one. <laughs> Vitrified clay gains its strength from the quartz matrix cemented together with feldspar silicate glass. You can have a strong matrix without glass, though. Occurring during firing, this process packs particles closer and closer together to obtain a strong matrix. <laughs> Oh, Emma. <laughs> nope. Alright. Vitrified clay gains its strength from a quartz matrix cemented together with feldspar silicate glass. You can have a strong matrix without this glass, so this will be not vitrification. Occurring during firing, this process packs particles closer and closer together. So this is a, a way to den densify clay without vitrification. So without any of that feldspar silicate glass in it. Uh, Karen, I think that might be part of the process, but no, that is not the, that's not the answer we're looking for. <laughs> no, the, uh, the, it's still up there. If you, if, if you go on Digital Fire right now, <laughs> I bet you could find the answer pretty close. No, Karen, that, we are not accepting that. <laughs> The, uh, the answer is still out there. Um, do you guys want a hint? It's, so like, uh, Raku clay and terracotta, or earthenware in general, are typically not vitrified. Instead, they get their strength from this process, which also makes them more thermoshock resistant. Oh yeah, okay. Um, vitrified clay gains its strength from a quartz matrix cemented together with feldspar silicate glass. You can have a strong matrix without glass. Occurring during firing, this process packs particles closer and closer together. <laughs> Honestly, if no one gets this one, it might be better. <laughs> because then we don't end up with a tie at the end. So I'm going to say, I'm going to give it like 30 seconds on the clock if someone can Google the answer. <laughs> You have 30 seconds. Can I sing the Jeopardy song? Oh, Emma got it! Yes! What is sintering? Yes! The, we were looking for sintering. Emma, did you Google it? <laughs> or did you, like, remember it? Because I certainly only vaguely remembered it from school. <laughs> oh, Karen, I'm sad that you did not get that one. Alright, so this is going to be it. If Emma gets this one right, she wins. If Chuck or Karen get this right, you can tie with Emma. And if Janet gets it right, Emma wins. <laughs> Janet does not have any points on this board. So, good luck with this one. Alright. This ratio of two oxides determines the glaze's matteness as well as affecting the stiffness of the melt. So I'm looking for the name of a ratio of two oxides. So I'm looking for two oxides. This is isn't it ionic? So you got you got this track. This ratio of two oxides determines glaze matteness as well as affecting the stiffness of the melt. <laughs> Janet, you never know. Oh, Chuck has got it. What is the silica lumen ratio? Yep, ding, ding, ding. All right. <laughs> thus, thus ends, thus ends Ceramic Jeopardy. Um, Chuck and Emma, you have tied for first place. And <laughs> Karen, you have come in second. <laughs> and Janet, thanks for, for being our audience member. <laughs> <laughs> oh no final jeopardy question dang it oh janet final Je okay fine we'll do a final jeopardy do you guys want to <laughs> you guys want a final jeopardy question 
Um, so we all know what we've got. Um, gosh, I like forgot there was final Final Jeopardy, so hold on. <laughs> oh, thanks, Chuck. I'm glad you had fun. <laughs> so, um, Emma and Chuck, you have 1,800 points to bet. Um, Karen, you have 1,200 points to bet. Um, and let me... Hold on. I'm gonna just straight up... For final, for final Jeopardy, I guess type in the comments how many points you want to bet, and I'm gonna just straight up pull up Digital Fire <laughs> and steal a definition from them. <laughs> That'll be our our final Jeopardy. Oh, you know what? I know. <laughs> All right, Emma's wagering sixteen hundred. Ooh, <laughs> Karen's wagering it all. <laughs> Karen's betting it all. If she gets this right, she will double her points and might win. Um, digital fire is intimidating. So. Ooh, how are we gonna do Je Final Jeopardy? Because you're supposed to write it on a card. I guess this will. I guess th this is gonna just have to be totally. And Chuck, tell us how much you're betting. This is gonna just have to. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to just have the honor system and type in an answer. And then I guess I'll do three, two, one, go and press enter at the same time. So okay, so this is our final. We can send you a text. Yeah, you and you and Karen can send me a text and Chuck you you type it in the window. <laughs> However we want to do this, I don't care. All right, so this number appears on data sheets for ceramic materials. It refers to the amount of weight the material loses as it decomposes to release water vapor and various gases during firing. So I'm looking for the name of this number. Um, I'll give you more, you know what, I'll say often abbre abbreviated to LOI. This number appears on the data sheet for ceramic materials. It refers to the amount of weight the material loses as it decomposes to release water vapor and various gases during firing. Alright, Chuck is <laughs> locked in his answer. I've got a text. I got a text from Karen with her her secret answer. <laughs> Janet says alien face. <laughs> Unfortunately, Janet, that is not the right the right answer. <laughs> You're so close. Oh yes, yes, Punk is here. Punk is here and he's mad that I touched him. Oh, oh no! In a tragic, in a tragic upset. <laughs> Karen, you get it right. Your your points are doubled to 2,400. Chuck, your points are, are doubled to a number I can't do in my brain that fast because I'm not smart. And unfortunately, Emma <laughs> loses all her points. Emma did not get it correct. So, our winner, our champion of, <laughs> our champion of Ceramic Jeopardy is Chuck. <laughs> Hi, Raymond. Yeah, we were playing Jeopardy <laughs> the whole time. Our champion is Chuck. Congratulations, Chuck Morris. Um, coming in second place is Karen. Emma is in third place with 200 points left. Um, your guys are all winning a prize, though, anyway. Um... So your your prize is the points that you won and the memories you made along the way. So congratulations uh, to everyone who won, uh, which is really all of you when you think about it. <laughs>
<laughs> we can't have a prize every time I do something like this or I'm gonna, I'll be broke. <laughs> All right, so that's, <laughs> I'm glad you guys had fun. I might do something less involved next time that um, more <laughs> more people can participate in. Oh, uh, Raymond, I'm sorry. You probably would have been good. Raymond, real quick, do you know what centering is? Because that seemed to be a serious, <laughs> that seemed to be the, the serious, like, stumper this week. Who knows, Raymond might have taken it, taken us all down. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Alright, guys, well, thanks. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining me again for another Clay at Home Live. Um, maybe we'll do a Jeopardy that's like... <laughs> Alright, we're gonna give Raymond one one question. We'll give him one of the 600 questions. Um, I'm trying to figure out which I, which one I think is the hardest one. I'll give away the, the answer to one of them. Alright. Raymond, real quick. <laughs> At high enough temperatures, this clay body's kaolin crystals convert into long mule-like crystals, contributing to this body's incredible strength. So, there you go. <laughs> Raymond, answer in the chat. Alright, thank you guys so much um, for joining me again on another wonderful Friday. Uh, I'll say, I'm just going to say bye to everyone. So, <laughs> bye Chuck and bye Janet. Bye Emma and Karen secretly on Megan's account. And also, bye Raymond. <laughs> Is that... Did I double up on someone? Did I get everyone? I think so. There's only four of you, so. <laughs> Alright, I'll see y'all next week, same time, four o'clock. <laughs> I love you guys, too. And Punk says goodbye. Punk, say bye. <laughs>